also, can you be Rastafarian if you don't believe that Rastafari was the second coming of Christ? And Rastafari is the uh, is Haile Selassie's name. So the uh, Rastafarians, especially the, the beginning of the movement, they believed that um, considering had just happened in the world and what happened in the 1800s that uh, this was Haile Selassie was the second coming of Christ right and the rest of the world uh, didn't see it that way you know and uh, I uh, I have a uh, the Bible says we're going to see we're going to know the second coming right and I know that they read also from a different Bible than than we have and what our culture is built upon. I mean, most of it is the same, but there's a lot of books that the Ethiopian Bible has that the um, King James doesn't. And so there's... I'm very curious into looking into, you know, because uh, the, the, they're, they're... How do we have millions of Rastafarians, right? Uh, you know, there's got to be some, some markers in time that made people believe that this is what was going on, right? I believe that um, in a, a different idea of Christ, like I believe that, you know, if we're probably in the times where we're going to see a story very much like the Christ story. Like we're going to have to have some people, and it, I don't know if it's going to be singular, like, a, but some people that are going to be giving up their lives and taking the hero's journey and standing behind things to, to to save them, right? And you know, if we took the most amazing, most powerful one of those heroes' journeys out of all the stories, if we had the ability to single one out as the most powerful, then maybe that is the second coming of Christ. In a world that seems to be mostly motivated, motivated, or uh, not a world like a media and what we see of the world that seems to be motivated by more satanic forces would we even know when the second of coming of the Christ, the second coming of Christ happened or not or else who would like would they likely try to hide that to continue on their satanic mission right i believe that um, regardless of what i believe i think Haile Selassie was an amazing story you know and there's a lot of people that criticize things that happened near the end of his reign however I do know that these satanic forces have been working were working against Haile Selassie also and he did amazing things so there is there is a heavily Christ consciousness coming through that man you know he was fasting and he'd ask the Lord for for um, his messages and what to do right I, I just watched a video um, about it was uh, another fella t talking about how Haile Selassie was put there um, as a false second coming um, because their actual second coming was like in 1860 is when he died. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'll, I'll put that video down below, but I'm gonna have another I'm gonna do another video on on other stories of this nature and I'll go further into like other times that people thought that the second coming happened right and uh, so I I would hope that by the looks of the world that Haile Selassie wasn't the second coming because the story didn't seem to unfold the way the second coming uh, did was going to unfold right so I, I so does that mean I'm not Rastafarian? Because I, I question him being the reincarnation and the Christ, like the Christ. No, I don't think so. Because the culture is what is give gave me belief, right? I I, I found Christ through Rastafari, right? So that movement and that ancient knowledge of uh, of music healing and and plant uh, um, third eye opening plant medicines and uh, um, and like the, the the let's say Gnostic kind of 
run from the Babylon and, and kind of fight the Babylon, you know, that really hit in my heart, right? It's, and I look at how the Ethiopian Bible has set these people into a whole different path and they had a like book of Enoch which is really important in their book and um, and I see what path they went on to and they became warriors to hold down traditions and this love of Rastafari and I see a lot of the new King James cultures went uh, to following and more of passive Christianity so that's why I feel the closest with Rastafari which is Christians but also Christians that um, aren't are, are not a, they're not a passive Christian like people are like oh like smoking weed and all this but no like they they infiltrated our culture to the point where I found Christ through their teachings you know with their music that's warriors right it's not it's not blood but they're what there's you know, look at Ethiopia's culture, and that's where the true teachings of the Bible came from. You know, a lot of, if you look at what happened in the the last hundred years around Israel, uh, it, the story doesn't seem to add up, you know, and uh, I know that Ethiopia built Jerusalem. If you look back in time, but that's not what we see in our history, right? Well, you know, maybe I don't know, but that history seems way more true than the history they're telling us. So yeah, I, uh, I, I want to broaden my perspective on all cultures and learn about a, a lot of them, but I also have my um, reasons why I stick to Rastafari. They made the most, one of the most beautiful musics in the world and, and they praise uh, God through this music and it's floats through my veins, you know, and I uh, really respect what they've done for the world, so that's, that's why it's uh, in my heart, so does that mean, do I think Haile Selassie is the second coming, the second coming? No, I, I don't, but I think if he hadn't done what he did, he's part of paving the road for for the acceptance of the second coming, if that's an actual thing that's going to happen. And I, I believe, in a sense, that, we're, that there's going to be a archetypal story that we could almost mirror to the one 2,000 years ago. Which, what does that mean? The biggest thing I've noticed is what all this evil that has moved in the last two to three years here that's crept into people is, is turned people into their own spiritual warrior, Christ warrior, right? That's living and acting out Christ. You know, and you can, you can do that even without believing there'll be a second coming or not. Maybe that is an idea of the second coming as he's coming in through all of us, you know, and that's another idea behind what the second coming is, is, you know, maybe there will be the top of the hierarchy of, uh, of all the Christs, and that's who we can call the second coming, but the second coming I can see is arising in all our hearts right now, so, much love, and, uh, praise, uh, Praise the Lord for all that we have.